As we go through this or any calving season, I think it's important to remind producers that they want to keep a good record of any multiple births that took place in their herd, especially if they have a situation where a heifer calf and a bull calf are born twin to each other, or in the case of triplets, if there's uh, multiple sexes uh, within those three calves. What we're concerned about is that heifer calf born twin to a bull will, in over 95% of the cases, be incapable of reproducing as she grows up to eventually be a, a two-year-old, three-year-old cow. This is a, a condition called free martinism, and it occurs as these embryos are being developed in a common uterus, and around day 40 of the pregnancy, that's when you might see some uh, intermingling of the fluids and the blood uh, in that one placenta where the male calf is actually developing a little bit sooner than the female and therefore there might be some cells or some hormones being produced by that male embryo that greatly influence the underdevelopment, if you will, of the female reproductive tract. And that's why then these heifer calves born twin to bulls uh, may look normal, but uh, upon real close examination, you'd find that they have what we call an infantile or underdeveloped reproductive tract and would be incapable of, of breeding uh, if we, by some mistake, would keep them as replacement heifers. Now, some people might be concerned about uh, where in the embryo transfer industry, there might be, uh, there are certainly multiple embryos being produced at any one flush. And some of those, of course, will be male and some female. But in the case of embryo transfer, the transfer is actually taking place at about day seven after uh, insemination or breeding, long before this differentiation of about 40 days between the male and the female embryo would take place. And so th there's no concern as far as the health, uh, the normal viability of female embryo transfer calves being born in a, in a flush with, with male calves. I think the important thing for most producers is again to write down in their record book, if they have a, a set of twins, and especially if one of those is a heifer and the other is a bull, write that heifer calf's number down so that you don't make the mistake of keeping her, spending the money uh, to develop her as a replacement heifer, and then finding out that she's incapable of breeding. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.